Hi, welcome to Art with Miss Blakeney. That's me. I'm really excited to be your art teacher this year. Kindergarten is such a fun time for making new art, making new friends, and learning a lot about line and shape and color and pattern. Some of these pictures you're seeing now are the types of artwork we're going to make in kindergarten. I'm going to ask you to always try your best and I'm going to ask you to always take a picture of your artwork and put it up in your seesaw classroom for art. I'll be able to see it there and see how you're doing. Every Tuesday you'll have art and you'll get a video from me so that you can follow along if you're in the classroom or if you're learning from home. I'm so excited to work with you this year, kindergartners. Keep watching this video to learn more about me and do a fun art activity at the end. Hi everybody, welcome to art. I'm Miss Blakeney, I'll be your art teacher this year and we're gonna be having art every Tuesday. Art will be on Tuesday if you're in school. It'll also be on Tuesday if you're doing distance learning from home. So um, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about myself and what we're gonna be doing this year in art. So number one, I already told you my name is Miss Blakeney. That's Blake like the boy's name knee like your kneecap. That's what I tell everyone so it's easy to remember. Now, I am an artist. I love to draw and paint. I like to make things around the house. I like to kind of invent things and build things out of cardboard first and then the real thing. So I really like making things and I like looking at art and learning about art. I love seeing other people's drawings and I love being an art teacher. I went to college for art and I have two art degrees and I am living in Wakefield, Rhode Island, teaching at Matunic Elementary and West Kingston Elementary. I have two kids, a boy who's going into sixth grade and a girl who's going into fourth grade. Now, I am going to be your art teacher for this whole year. Um, you might see me around town. You might even see me at the beach sometimes because my husband's a surfer and he loves teaching our kids how to surf. Um, in art this year, you're going to use a lot of cool materials. Of course, we're going to use pencils and erasers. We're also going to use really nice thick drawing paper that's about this size. We are going to use watercolor paint. We are going to use crayons. We are going to use my favorite art material, oil pastels. So a lot of kids really, really like these. They kind of feel like painting and drawing at the same time. You can do color mixing and lots of fun things with these nice, bright, bold colors. Um, another thing I wanted to tell you is that we're going to be learning about famous artists. So one of my favorite famous artists is Rita Kahlo. She's a Mexican artist um, who lived a while ago. She's um, really into making self-portraits and telling the story of her life through her paintings. She uses a lot of symbolism and culture and things that represent her life in Mexico. Um, this is a self-portrait. Uh, I mean, she painted a picture of herself. This is really what she looks like. These are the flowers of Mexico, the animals of Mexico, the clothing of Mexico. So she celebrates her culture and um, her dreams and her life experience all in a picture. She tells a story. Um, so you'll be trying new things. You'll be doing your best. You'll be learning how to draw and paint. And you'll always need to take a picture of your artwork and post it on your online classroom so I am able to see it even when we're not together. So you'll learn how to do that. Use your webcam and post it on your online classroom and I'll get to see your work. So I look forward to seeing you online every week and teaching you new things. All right, take care. Hi, now we're going to do an art activity. Some of you might remember this from last year. It's just for fun. It's just to warm up and start drawing again. So pause the video, go get a piece of paper and a pencil, and come right back. 
Great. So, I am going to draw a picture and tell a story at the same time. It's going to guide you through drawing the picture with me. Then, we'll do another little activity. Only takes a few minutes. All right, let's get started. Once upon a time, there was a girl who walked with her arms by her side and her feet turned outward. Arms are by her side and her feet are turned outward. She was walking along one day with her arms by her side and her feet turned outward and she was chased by six bees. Three bees were on this side and three bees were on this side. Three plus three is six. She was so scared and so stressed out, she jumped into a lake. When she was floating in the lake, she looked up and she saw a rainbow. Underneath the rainbow, two caves. Inside each cave was a bear, a black bear. She also noticed two rivers flowing down from the end of each rainbow. Flowing. And now you have a dog, just from that story. You could add other details to your dog. You could add two curves on the chin and a curve on the bottom, and you will get a collar. You could add a dog tag. That says the dog's name. You could add shoulders. You could add front legs. You could add a little tail. There's lots that you could add to your dog. So if you want to play this video again and draw it again, do it. If you want to tell the story to someone in your house and teach them how to draw a dog using a story, do that. Now, I'm going to just draw something. I'm not going to tell a story. You're going to think of how you could turn this into a story.